So this would be about the Chepoco 4 and everything I need and I did to be able to use this machine. After two years using the machine, I cut it, I made more than 500 products. All of them are in carbon fiber, so I'll make a bit about the carbon fiber, how to cut, what, sp uh, what the speed I use and everything else. But now I, I want to talk about the machine itself. So, as you can see here, this is Chepoco 4, this standard size. It weighs around 100 pounds and the size is like two and a half by three feet. The box is pretty heavy, uh, pretty stirred. I My initial idea, if we look sideways, was to have a lead that we could, a, a wood lead with a window that I could open and and handle the machine, the, the, the material that I need to cut, and after close that lid. What happened is, it's too heavy. With the lid, I was not able to have the filtration system over the machine, over the box. I was going to lose a lot of space in the shed, and originally the machine was in a bedroom in my house, so now it's in the shed. So I decided to take the lid out, and this machine was inside the tent. Now, when I move it to the shed, I said, okay, I have the problem again, right? I will have all that dust around if I don't have a lid. So my wife helped me to make this cover in plastic that I think is a great idea. Everything I use here, I, I, I'm using here, I'll put a link in the, the video description so you can find in Amazon. And if you buy using that lead, that, that link, you don't pay more, but you help me out with a, com a small commission. So, um, why do I need a box, right? I need a box because when a machine cut, there is two filtration systems, basically. Basically, there is a vacuum cleaner that is under the table, as you can see here. It's a great vacuum cleaner I'm using for two years. It's a thousand watts uh, hour, so it uses a little bit of, of energy. Starting where I live, it's 13 cents an hour of use. Uh, you, you should consider all this in, when you, you find the, the cost of your product, right? So it's a great vacuum cleaner. I will put the link here too. This vacuum cleaner have a bag inside of it, and also have a filter that goes uh, in the in the center of the bag. So the dust never goes to the uh, vacuum cleaner engine, so it doesn't break it out. So I need the box to keep the dust inside the box, right? And I don't want that dust also to to go to the machine. So I have a vacuum cleaner that takes the the the, the, the majority of the, the particles from the cut and then I have I need the box because I have an air filtration system that I made a short another day about but I'll show you in detail. I'll turn on now the, the filtration system and you can see the plastic being uh, sucked by the, the negative air pressure right so you can see this fil the filtration is working all the dust goes to that tube and goes to the filter. Now, talking about the filter, um, I need to open the lid here. So, this this box, AC Infinite box, I bought in Amazon. The link is below too. This filter is a, a home filter, one inch uh, tall, uh, 12 by 20. So, it, any filter can adapt to this box if you use a 12 by 20. You don't need to buy the AC Infinite one, that's pretty expensive, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so I buy a box with I have here in Amazon with two pack by thirty one dollars and this is like six months. I change just because I look at the filter and say okay it's pretty dirt, but we easily could go a year without change. Uh, I use Merv thirteen because I said I I'm cutting carbon fiber and the, the I, I I have zero chance to have carbon fiber going around. I have this tube also from AC Infinity. You have another brand in Amazon. I bought this one because it's, it's, there are two layers on it. Everything from AC Infinity in the tents, everything's really stirred, and the, 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 the tubes, the metal tubes are uh, thicker, they are heavier, the, the fabric is thicker. So I, I really, I, they don't pay me a cent. I really like the products from them. They last forever. I have I have fans running for years here, and they don't make a noise, right? So I rather pay a bit more and have something good than pay less and have something bad. Now something very important on this this setup that helps me a lot um, when you when you're dealing with this, you have 
to make the draw you need to pass to your computer right and then you need to put the cut you need to put the material so you don't want to think about the process right you have a lot of things going and something that i like is this box here on the side of the shed it turns on automatically my ace my vacuum cleaner and the ac infinite filter once my spindle starts spinning this box turns on automatically so everything automatically on this box you have two plugs that will be used as an input so when the the spindle turns on the spindle is going in here uh, it automatically turns on this uh, plug here this outlet here so everything that's connected here turns on what i did because i have the ac infinite uh, fan and the, the vacuum cleaner i i'm using this cable here to to connect both at the same time the automatic switch have a few uh, options here i also bought in amazon you have the link below you can change the the, the time the vacuum cleaner and the filter still spinning still working after the spindle go spindle goes off so after it goes off the vacuum cleaner can run for three i think three i'm not looking at the machine now but it's three five and seven i think or three seven and ten seconds um also has the the wattage the amperage that will trigger the machine let's say you want to use something with less amperage and you don't want the ec the the vacuum cleaner turns on the box will not turn on if it doesn't go over that amperage the speed will go over uh, both options there and you have another option that is turn on turn off and auto so you can i live in auto when the amperage is reached it turns on the ace the vacuum cleaner and the ac infinity fan okay so that's that's what i use I have a computer here that's HP, very old and, and slow computer, but it's enough for me to handle the the two uh, systems from the, the the software from Carbide. Um, I'll make a video about the machine and how to cut carbon fiber. So this I hope to make this week, and that's it. So if you like the video, thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel because it helps me out and uh, let me know send comments i'll be glad to to answer your questions have a great day god bless you all bye